Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can connect to a MySQL database from VS Code and how we can run queries from within VS Code. So I have these databases here. There is test, phpMyAdmin, MyNewDB and so on. I'm viewing this using phpMyAdmin. You can view your databases using some other MySQL clients like Workbench. So let's try to connect to this my underscore new underscore db from Visual Studio Code so that I don't have to open this and I can run operations on this from within VS Code. So first open VS Code, click here or just press Ctrl Shift X and your extensions will open. Now search for MySQL. You'll see a lot of extensions here, but the one that I use is from Vision Shen. So click on this and click on install. Once this is installed, you'll see this database icon here on your navigation panel. Click on this uh, I'll just close this. Now first you'll have no connections here. So you'll have to create a connection to your database. So click on create connection and let's call it new DB connection. No need to enter anything else. And now the host is this, username is root, and the port is 3306. So if you are confused which port you are running on, you can contact your database administrator. If you are on ZAMP, you can see the port here is 3306. So if you are on something else, just enter that port here. Now, what is my database name? Database name is my underscore new underscore DB, right? Go back here and let's enter my underscore new underscore DB. No need to enter the socket path. And if you have a password, enter your password here, but I am using XAMPP without any password. So I don't want to enter password here. Now just click on connect. And as you can see, it is saying connection success. Now you can close this and your new connection will be shown here. Now you can click on this and you'll see my new DB here. Click on this. And here you can see tables, views, functions, and so on. So let's say we want to see a table. So let's say, uh, let's check out the customer's table, right? Here, as you can see, you have first name, last name, city, and so on. This is the customer's table. And let's say you want to enter last name to this column. You can just right click here and enter, let's say Smith. Now click on this check button here. Here it is showing the error, no primary key found. This change might affect more records than expected. Now this is not recommended because this is just a sample table, but I just click on okay. And as you can see, now you have Cheryl Smith here. If you want to check out a new table, just click on another table and this table only has one column ID and you have another table with customers and you can create a new table also. So to create a new table, just click on this plus here and the query to create a new table comes up. Now you can edit the query here. You can add more things like this. And when you are done, just click on this active connection and choose new DB connection. This is our database and click on run. And as you can see, this new table is created, which has ID, create time, name and last name that we had just run. So now you can also run one of the queries here by just writing your query here, select all from let's say customers and click on this run button and a table will be shown here. So this is how you can create tables, modify tables and view tables from within VS Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.